Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we just played a very exciting round of Heads Up with Malun from India and Hamza from Pakistan. We had fun explaining a bunch of different food items, some geography, some cities, some actors and whatnot. And now we're gonna move on and play a game of Never Have I Ever. So I have a couple examples of things that y'all may or may not have done uh, in your upbringing, whether in India or Pakistan. And we're gonna see if we have some of those in common. And again, celebrate some of the similarities between our two countries. So I'm gonna give you a scenario and I'm going to say never have I ever, whatever it is. If you have done that, I want you to raise your hand and then we might get a little story from Milan or a story from Hamza uh, about a time whenever they did one of these tasks or one of these actions, all right? So first up, we have never have I ever been asked to entertain guests. You're singing, oh really, Hamza, tell me about that. What is the time you were asked to entertain guests? All the time, like even now, like my parents live in Austin, I go over and if they're out, I'm expected to introduce people that I don't know <laughs> with a very significant age gap and they don't even like want to see me. Like my dad's running late and I'm there for a weekend to see my parents. <laughs> and like, so it, not only is it a Pakistani thing, it transfers over to this beautiful country of the USA that we live in, and I should I should be more happy about it. Crosses it crosses oceans. <laughs> it does. Yeah, it does. Really it does. I mean, I want to add to that. Are you even a daisy if your parents don't ask you to do all of that? And it doesn't matter how old are you. It, it just it is. It's a daisy. You will be asked to entertain. Yeah. All yeah. right. Very good. All right. Next. Never have I ever been asked by my aunties about marriage. Of course. Yeah. Highest. Yeah. Highest. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about that, Malad. Okay, but before that, what, what age did it start for you? Early 20s. Yes. Yeah. Like right right when you get out of college, 21, that's when it starts. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Very good. It's, it's an interrogation, I imagine, right? Yeah, you. I yeah. could, if I walk into a shadi, if I walk into a wedding, I could tell you from the looks on the auntie's eyes and faces, yeah. which one of them is about to come up and ask you that question. <laughs> and this smile is sarcastic. Because it's like, I might be enjoying food. I might be doing something else. Yeah. And like, they'll just come up to you and they just ask. So, so when are you getting married? So after 21, you are not single. You are unmarried. Oh, unmarried. Oh, wow. Oh, interesting. She sums it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Very good. All right. Um, next. Never have I ever had my outfit stitched from Master G. Yeah, tell me about that, Milan. So it's a cultural thing. I, I don't think we had, I come from a very small city and we didn't have a lot of malls and stuff. So we used to always get those clothes from a place and then go to a tailor and then have it sized and everything and then get it stitched. But the cherry on the cake is he would not stitch it the way you would want him to or her to because they would have their own, you know? Don't wear, um, you know, the neck should not go that yeah. deep or the length of the dress should not be that they short. They have their own opinions of what yeah. looks and best. they will impose that on uh -huh. you. <laughs> Is this something that crosses borders, Hamza? It does. I, I feel like with, I grew up in Lahore, so there was, uh, so with shalwar kameez and a lot of traditional stuff, we'd go to the darzi, the tailor, and then they like size you up and usually it's a better fit. You could get it ready made, you could go to the store, yeah. but it's like with the tailor, it's just, it's more exciting. He it's has an opinion. Made. It's yeah. tailor made. <laughs> yeah, and it's cool. They like take your size and then, you know, they pass a few comments, depending on how much your weight is. At least yeah, the yeah, that's yeah. happened. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, it sounds like both Indian and Pakistani tailors have very intense opinions about lucky, what you, you should wear. You, you get some exercise tips as well. Oh, yeah, oh really? <laughs> oh, some exercise yes. tips for your tips. Yes. I get it. I get it. Very good. All right, ready. Uh, next. Um, never have I ever helped my mother in the kitchen and not heard a tantrum about it. Um, not exactly tantrum. I've. I never Good really look. helped in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> we'll go to, we'll go to post the next college. One, right? I cooked. I right. had so much I never heard any. Okay, ready? Right here's a good one. Never have I ever bunked school to watch my favorite actor's film. I'm guessing that means skipped school. Yes. Yeah. We would never do that. Would we? we are no. very disciplined. Absolutely. No. All right, never. this is a good one. Never have I ever been crammed in a room with my cousins because it's wedding season. Yeah? Tell us about this, Hamza. Yeah. No, it's every shadi, every place, like, you go to Mendi, Barad, your city, different city, your house, someone else's house. You take out the, you take out the mattresses, you guys get put, so this is where I need to phrase this the right way. 
So guys get put in the most uncomfortable places. So we are we are expected to be on the not only on the mattresses but on the couches, the floors, chadar dalke. We just put out a sheet. So so we bear the burden of of the pain of all these collective weddings in one house. Yeah. You shouldn't waste your time sleeping comfortably when you should be out there getting married, right? Yeah. yeah. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Very good. Um, all right. Um, never have I ever opened an ice cream tub to find some sabzi inside. Yeah, tell us about that, Malad. So desis are all about recycling stuff and reusing yes. stuff. So you empty an ice cream tub, there's room. Uh -huh. What do you put in it? Put dough, put cut vegetables, do anything. Yeah? Yeah. Very it's always good. in the fridge. <laughs> All right, we'll do one more. Ready? Never have I ever had a sweet or a biscuit tin as a sewing kit. Yeah? Tell us about this, Hamza. So the sewing kits, they're usually the very good cookies, right? The one you're the expecting. Good yeah, like the like tin, the tin box. The right? tin boxes, <laughs> yes. My nano would bring them, and, and they'd be they were just very highly rated, and they tasted good. And then, but they're when you walk into your mother's closet or whatever, and you see the box wherever and you open it and boom, like it's it's usually sewing stuff. It's, it's not the cookies. Yeah, because they keep it as a souvenir mm. and then they want to repurpose it as well. Yes. Absolutely, <laughs> it's like the ice cream cartons, yes. right? The same thing. But we get the heartbreak when we open it. Yeah. <laughs> because you're expecting some delicious cookies. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's very good. All right, do you want to do one more? Yeah. One yes. more never have I ever. Um, never have I ever dumped my biscuit in chai. Oh. Yeah. That's obviously That's the badge of orders, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. very good. All right, well, that was Never Have I Ever, once again, uncovering a lot of the similarities and getting some funny stories here, whether on the Indian side or the Pakistani side. And I can tell just from these games that we share a lot of similarities in terms of food, culture, dress, um, entertainment, all of that stuff. So that has been Never Have I Ever. But have you ever done any of these? Um, I can say, yeah, there was a sewing kit in um, a cookie tin, for sure. I think that, uh, that crossed is all kind of cultures, I think. Um, uh, yeah, I found all kinds of stuff in ice cream tins and stuff like that. And I certainly was bugged about getting married as well. Sometimes uh, we can. I don't. I don't. I love Kip for the record, but I don't think Kip's was as worse as we have it. He just, just relate, putting it out. Yeah, yeah I yeah. can't relate. No, no. All right, yeah. very good. Because you don't good. have as many aunties in the weddings. I guess. Uh, no, I I only have like two aunts actually. Yeah. So no. No. So we have ants and ants of ants and, and ants so and many of For sure. <laughs> yeah, very good. 